there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and right now we have the Greb Knights. The clock has finally run out for the government. As a post ustaze regime has finally been stabilized, the HSS has made one final demand. The resignation of Mladen Lorkovic and the restoration of true democracy in Croatia, begrudgingly agreeing to sit down with the HSS leadership in his village just outside the capital, with many within both camps are completely unsure of how they will react to one another when discussing what well what may well become the most important night in Croatian history. The people hold their breath. And of course right now we're led by Lorkovic. But very soon something's going to change, the shining sun. Following the exchange of pleasantries between representatives from the Croatian Home Guard and the Peasants Party, an agreement was finally reached for the restoration of democracy, with Mladen Lor Lorkovic and Ante Vo uh, Vokic stepping down for politics in exchange for becoming chiefs in the new armed forces. It would appear that the shining beacon of democracy is finally coming to Croatia. Liberty lives. And now we have August Kosutic, led with the HSS Party, the nation democracy, which is... Okay, the Grim Knights. Oh, so we actually finished that one. That one actually did that one. Duration Democracy. For the first time in decades, the shining light of democracy finally shines over the Balkans. With the Home Guard stepping down in favor of full democratization, the Croatian Peasant Party has once again ascended to its status as a democratic champion of the Croatian people. While Vladko Macek and Stepan Radic are not alive to witness this historic event, they would nonetheless be proud of their ultimate dream finally coming true a truly independent uh, democratic Croatia. And let's keep going on the side. We're doing the worst behind us. Um, yeah, I read this one yesterday, so after this one, what, what, what can we do down here? Serbian Reconciliation. Our man in London. Ooh, a drop of democracy in a despotic sea. That's not bad. Join the Toronto Accords. We might want to do that. Let's do Serbian Reconciliation. The Serbian and Croatian people have troubled history over the past couple decades. However, deep down, we are not too different. Will the Serb practice Orthodox Christianity and claim a very different heritage to ours? Our blood is really not that different once our respective nationalities are broken down to their basic, very basic elements. We will attempt to repair uh, <clears throat> our relations with the Serbs in hopes of bringing peace to our exhausted peoples. Also, like, like I do want to do uh, all these nations of the Balkans several different times, just because I do want to see what, like this path formalize the Doomvarat. So that'd be kind of cool to do. Um, but yeah, uh, I would like to draw a couple different paths here, especially with Croatia. Croatia is kind of a Weird nation. Well, the Balkans are just weird in general, at least from my standpoint. Just a very weird, explodey group. Ah, uh, SS Odenstadt, Gottenland. I definitely have to play some Frauenfeld, huh? I gotta play some sometime, sometime. Not sure when, but sometime. Uh, what can we do here? Mixed economy? Ooh, consumer goods. Yeah, there's that stuff. Um, we can only choose you, which is not bad. That's not too bad. <clears throat> no, war support. No, no, no. But I will play as actual Ustaze, like, someday, like, Literally just playing as them. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I heard they're very gamer esque, so as we saw in the last episode, so yes. After Serbian reconciliation, let's do our first step to greatness. With the depression well and done with, we must move forward, ensuring the strength and prosperity of Croatia's economy. With riches, we will become stronger and even be able to fight Jewish capitalism than we once were. Our great struggle against the Romani, the Jews, and the Bolsheviks must be to increase the wealth of our nation. To do this, we must look to furthering our industrial development. Surely they will make us no longer a backwater laughing stock among European economic powers. Who won the Civil War? Was it Speer? It was Speer, okay. Um, can they actually go to war with other people? I can't remember. Just in case, let's join the Toronto Accords. Uh, maybe we'll do our man in London and increase relations first. There are many ethnic Croatians that chose to flee to London when the Germans and Italians invaded Croatia in 41, many of whom still hold significant sway in British political organizations. <clears throat> we will reach out to our brothers in arms in Great Britain and renew our ties with the Toronto Accords' closest ally to fascist Europe. All right, not bad. Two weeks left. And what are we doing? We're building up some millies, which is pretty nice, actually. Pretty darn nice. Oh, wait. Romania just got that one. I hate plays Romania. Romania sounds like a lot of fun. I heard, like, Greece can have a civil war or reorganize Hellenic state, huh? Of course, Albania exists, too. Uh, there's National Socialists, Marxist Leninists. Albania? An Albanian campaign? Maybe sometime. First of the greatness, cool. And our man in London. And just in case, let's go ahead and uh, join the Toronto Accords, then. Join the Toronto Accord. The Toronto Accord is the only vanguard in the world that upholds individual rights and freedoms of men, no matter their creed, and stands in opposition to the powers that have subjugated a great nation before. For the mutual protection of democracy and to strengthen its wondrous ideas across the globe, we will formally petition to join the Accord and stand as mainland Europe's most important bulwark against fascist extremism. Our manpower went down. Of course, we do have quite a few divisions here. Well, maybe not quite a few, but more. Huh. 
Definitely more. Long stroke gas pistons. Get some more of that as well. That'd be very good. Really improving our guns now. Seven factories. Not bad, not bad. We can do some medium tanks too, though. Yeah. Especially playing down here in the Balkans. You don't have a lot of factories. I do need to play as Banat sometime, though. Banat would be a lot of fun. Look at all this stuff they can do. Ah. Nice. All right, and let's do join the Toronto Accords. Followed up with, ooh, yeah, democracy in the dark continent, so we can remove Ustasha resistance. <clears throat> the new democratic Croatia stands in one of the stra strangest situations it can find itself in. As most of Europe has been forced to live under the jackboot of fascism, we now stand out as the only nation that defends individual rights, fair representation, and freedom to one's opinion. This is a mantle that we, the Croatian people, begrudgingly take for the sake of not just the freedom of Croatia, but for the world in hopes that the axis of tyranny one day crashes down in in its own hubris. Hopefully we can join the Toronto Accords. Um, let's see. Actually, ooh, yeah, special mobilization would be nice. What is this? Ustase resistance? Wait. I don't see Ustase resistance here. Ah, uh, well then, okay. Well, we got military advisors. Better recovery rate, of course. Italian influence kind of sucks. But hey, we're in the Toronto Accords. Denmark, Portugal, UK, and us. So, yeah, we're doing quite well. Let's go back over here, connecting our countryside. The first step to getting started with our industrial buildup will undoubtedly be the build of our infrastructure system to efficiently manage and break up or build up of the industry as good as possible. Um, it'll be an undeniable requirement to have a good road system on which materials and resources can be transported from one part of the country to another. We shall see to it that the road systems shall be greatly increased and improved as soon as possible. Has Govina gets an infrastructure? She is gone. Very, very nice. And, oh, yep. Yeah. I don't know why. This is just a little bug. Like, I get it. You guys want to win over here, but like you're supposed to attack us, not them. Uh, which I guess you know saves lives, our guys' lives, but still. <clears throat> we actually made another military factory. Look at that. We're actually making some medium tanks. Nice. And follow it up with what? Subjugate Sarajevo infrastructure, Millies. Let's get another civvy. This is a grab industrial center. <clears throat> For being the capital of a great and mighty nation, Zagreb certainly is lackluster when it comes to production. To remedy this, we must transform our pearl into an industrial powerhouse, on the same scale as Detroit and America. By expanding our industries within the capital, we will not only be able to build up our productivity by a significant amount, but also expand our most important city in the process of doing so. Zagreb has been and will always be the heart of our industry. So after that one, actually, I want to do this one too. Do two more of these. You can finish that Middle East, but do all stuff, and then, oh yeah, Civil War kind of ruined us here, which is fine. You know, things happen. Cool. And 1.43 every single day. Not bad. And the grab industrial zone. Now let's go do... Actually, you know what? Let's do something else. Let's do the Croatian army. I think next we'll do this one. Just because I haven't done it yet, so... Uh, I think we're going to do this one. So if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. So we can actually get that stuff started. And renewed greater... Cre oh. Oh, do we not have a core yet? Oh, we don't. Oh, that would definitely help us out. No wonder we don't have enough manpower. Malgon papers revealed. A crisis between former allies. Not bad. And we only have four ships. Um, can you just train? You more naval XP. And we're all still known as Serbian Social Republic Clear War and SS Benat. Okay. Social Republic. Huh. You guys have partisans. Increased shifts. Alright. Chinese American Cold War, pretty normal, pretty normal for us. The hammer of the party, not bad. Recruit warrior priest. That sounds kinda like fun. Sheet metal receivers, nice. Just trying to make your guns better, 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 just like the Americans. Croatian army, finally. Oh, did they actually break through? Look at that. They kind of did. Kind of nice. <clears throat> but let's continue with Rebuild the Countryside. This is political power, which is fine. Ooh, actually, yeah, let's do that one. Rebuild the Countryside. The aftermath of the Bosnian rebellion and the partisan insurgency has left an undeniable stain on our once prosperous countryside. Villages lie desolate, while roads and bridges lay in ruins. An absolute unacceptable state of affairs for a new state. We'll help rebuild our vital rurality so that the economy can get going once again. Nice. <clears throat> this hurts research speed. Why would we choose this then? Well, we already have armor in the field. Ten reliability. Uh, get more defense anyways. I think that's probably better to do. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I mean, Benat's not too hard to take out. They're pretty easy. But still. And then ease taxes on our farmers. The Croatian farmers has for centuries been the backbone of our economy and our cultural identity. During the Ustase government, they've been heavily taxed to fund projects which directly hindered their reality that they paraded as a cornerstone of the failed ideology. We will ease the taxes on our farmers and fulfill the promises that Pavlic and Artukovic were unable to uphold. And Russia is trying to reunify, which makes sense. Pretty normal stuff. Pretty darn normal. 
Baratheon's gone. Very good. Oh, we have less guns now. Hmm, how much arty do we have? None! Hmm. We can make him 19 combo. It wouldn't be too bad. That's alright. I don't think we're really going to be in any more conflicts for us as campaign, but we'll see. I don't want to train you guys. I don't, you guys are fine. Let's see. 14 combat width. Yeah. Not great. And then Croatian Cultural Golden Age. The Stasi claimed to be the vanguard of a Croatian national rebirth in the wake of the Serbian oppression. But in fact, Jad even killed prominent Croatian cultural figures that had even mildly disapproved of them. Or had mild disapproval of them. My apologies for this. Just I want that time to go on as well. We will not repeat these mistakes, however, and will free and pardon all the cultural figures that suffered under Ante Palovic and his backward-thinking goons and usher in the Croatian nationalist rebirth that they can never achieve. Give the political power and weekly stability, because we're only 30%, that will give us more political power, output, and less resistance in occupied territories, which would be very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we made another million, huh? So we're actually making trucks. Cool. APCs, none of that stuff. Um, that one's okay. We really could use more artillery, though, and more tanks. I wonder if Italy's going to try to attack us again. I don't mind if they try to attack us again, honestly. Just because, well, we're ready for them, so. Alright. What is this one? Blessings from the Church. Let's do modernized land forces. We started a modernization program in the hopes of improving our army from the state it currently is in. Unfortunately, however, divides already formed over how this modernization will happen. We may support expanding our usage of artillery and building experienced corps of troops. On the other hand, more radical voices have proposed building up our armored forces and mechanizing our troops. Which way shall it be? We're just going to get some infantry weapon blueprints. That's all. That's all we want. That's all we want. Cool. 74 enabled speed is actually pretty darn good. Yeah, I need to play as Banat. Banat seems difficult, but rewarding. Overwhelming force, nice. Uh, instead of defensive, we want offensive. Let's go with operational assault. Takes to get more organization breakthrough, which is nice. Very, very nice. Getting that weekly stability would be very, very good. What are they up to, actually? Tame steps, huh? I have played a spear. I need to play, I need to play more Germany in Thousand Week Reich. It's been a while. I need to play uh, Himmler, of course, which is, you know, was it Burgundy? I can't remember. I can't even remember now. What are we doing? Yeah, this one. All right, let's take a look here. Do we want expanded military companies, mechanization of the army? Well, as much as I want tanks. Oh, well, that is land auction. Strategic theorem. Yeah. Shell them to the end, and we're currently doing what? We're doing strategic theorem, so we got to go down the strategic theorem way. So if you don't know about these, please go right ahead. I should have shown them the other way, but whatever. Oh, there goes Benat. Goodbye, Benat. But look at the Yugoslavia's demise. We cannot take the invasion of Greece as an example of our military's future. Greece, simply put, is not Croatia. Instead of taking ideas from a completely foreign country, we must look to something more familiar. The invasion of Yugoslavia. The demise of that Chimera state was won by Sweden and the German Blitzkrieg Doctrine. Something we must hope to take into account as we formulate a new doctrine for our nation's armed forces. Uh, let's see this one. Motorize their forces. Unlike most of Europe, where cars and vehicles are commonly used, the horse is still the primary transport for troops and supplies in Croatia. This must change. We have recognized that, and to fully achieve victory, we must have that infantry that are able to keep up with their armor. The motorization of our army will not only help speed the, the, the speed of our troops, but logistics will also be greatly improved, for new trucks will quickly get supplies to the front much faster than neighboring farmers' mules. You guys want to get some mules, man? Mules are nice creatures. Um, how many takes do we have? Actually, uh, anything here? No, not really. You know, go and train. Yeah, we're we're going to run out of tanks. Well, we're not going to run out of tanks. We're actually making them. But we should be able to balance it out. Cool. It looks like these guys are just po poking themselves into there. 39% stability. Jesus, that's going to be so nice. Motorize them, baby. And now, let's go ahead and do infrastructure for the metropolis. By deciding to further expand our industry within our grand capital as a grab, we've also made another significant choice in the process. A decision shall be made to be shall be crucial to the future of build-ups. In order to establish more industrial areas within the city, a much larger, more modernized sort of road infrastructure will be needed in order to ensure the safe transportation of goods and people. And a measure for mention for further build-up, of course. That's what we really want. Well, we only get 0.63. We got how do we get rid of Italian influence here? Like really? Like we we joined the Toronto Accords. Our civilization is not great, and we have a fanatical dictatorship, even though, well, I don't think we really should be a fanatical dictatorship anymore, but maybe that's just me, because I guess we don't have elections, do we? No, we do have elections, so I don't know how we can be a fanatical dictatorship if we have elections. I'll be honest, man, that doesn't make any sense to me, but then again, it's a thousand-week Reich. 
and that's okay. Some few are black gold. In Croatia, there is an untapped resource, one which is perhaps more valuable than anything else in this day and age. Oil, the black gold, the lifeline of so many, a sultanate in today's Middle East. We don't even have to go deep into the books of Arab history. For the wealth of the Saudis is famous and world-renowned. If we wish to survive in the modern age, we need oil first and foremost. We must increase oil production across the nation if we want our forces to have it to have a future. All right, so I'm not really worried about the Serbs, but I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the Serbs because they seem to be expanding, and eventually that expansion may include us becoming a part of them, which I don't really want to do or be a part of. Actually, I want them to attack us. We can call the entire uh, Toronto Accords and kill them off, maybe that way. Oh, then they release Albania again. Okay. Well, Hoxha is gone. Goodbye, goodbye. Our black gold, thank you. All right, follow up with what? Import equipment? We could. Oops, more support, support equipment? Nice. <clears throat> Request British assistance first, though. Our new friends in Great Britain are not only a fellow democratic nation, but a prosperous one as well. We will ask our Anglo friends for economic assistance so that we can stand on our own two feet as an equal nation in the free world. Ooh, we're going to need to raise a conscription level, aren't we? We're only limited, so. Come on, Croatia, come beat us up. Beat us up. What do we want here? Well, I guess we would do that one, but I'm not going to consume goods. Like, I, I refuse to. I don't mind losing political power if we have to. Ooh, that's not bad, though. Let's do this. Let's do this guy. Let's do this. This circle would be actually really nice. So, ooh, that's not terrible. And then... I don't... That's a little bit less political power. We're getting more civvies. Our black gold. New leader for the free world. Dewey's elected. Um, eh, I don't want Why not? A drop of democracy in a despotic seat, just so we get some more defense before Serbia does anything funky to us. There are incoherent mumblings circling in the in the tyrants that occupy Germania and Rome, but one's just clear enough to know that they want nothing more than to wipe the great Croatian state off the map and rebuild it in their own twisted image. Croatia must be prepared to deal with this existential threat when it inevitably knocks on our door. I think for this campaign, I think I'll give it one more episode because we got basically cooed to have the HSS, which someone really, really wanted me to do. They kept bugging me about it on my other videos, so we're doing we've done this right now. Um, but I think I'll go ahead and do the paternal autocrat route, just because we're so close to it, and to get here it takes a little bit of time—not a lot, but not a, but a little bit of time. So I think I'll do one more video in this ep this campaign, which will be pretty short. So, Britain refuses our request. Terrible news: the British have refused to send us the economic aid that we so desperately needed. Britain, bro. Bro, seriously. If we can't have that, we'll be have blessings from the church then. The Catholic Church in Croatia is perhaps the mo second most important institution sitting firmly behind the Croatian state itself. Archbishop Aloysius uh, Stepanak had become a significant figure in Croatia in the years of Ante Pelovic as a figure that had espoused a strong connection between a Christian Croatia and the Holy See, but was also known for his quiet opposition of the Paglav... Uh, Poglavnik's methods of maintaining order. Having sufficiently distanced himself or ourselves from the Ustaze, perhaps we can get Stepanak to endorse our new government, a move which would undoubtedly boost our government's popularity with the people. That's a little bit ahead of time. This is not that, so we'll go with that one. Nice. And we're building up Civi still. Good. A bigger industrial base. Please, please, please. Ah, mighty Croatia. If the Brits won't bless us, we'll just get the blessings from the church. Followed up with Integrate Sarajevo Infrastructure. Nah, we'll do this one first, because I want the Millie Factory. Earl Warren. I thought Dewey won. What? Split. Uh, the most important Croatian city on the coast of the Adriatic has been selected by the government to be the main center of our military industry, with it being the furthest away from the borders of some of our worst enemies, and ensures it a safe place from any threat by ground forces, an advantage which is highly valued by our military office officials. The buildup of our military industry shall be the beginning of a new age for Croatia, which with which we can refit or fill our military demands for our up-to-date equipment and a greater military presence in our own country. Nice. Actually, I have not done anything with the ships yet so far. Can we upgrade some of these ships? I don't mind refitting them because we have nothing else to do with them, so. Uh, nothing there. Okay, maybe not. We've got literally nothing here. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Blessings from the church. Yeah, I completely ignore the naval stuff, which makes sense, but still. Okay, this is sad. This is really flippin' sad. Blessings from the church. With the Ustazi in flight and the new government finally cementing itself for good, there's only one last matter to take care of the clergy. Having initially good. Uh, so initially supported the Ustazi out of a sense of national pride for independent state, many within its ranks, most famously Archbishop Alicia Stepanak, has gradually become a harsh critic of the Ustazi's genocidal methods. Wasting no time in condemning the late Ante Palovich and his gangsters, many within the clergy become outspoken critics against anti-Krut Nazism. 
Very cool. Amen. Hey, get more civilian. We don't really need that, but hey, we'll take it. Industrialize Hezgovina. CRO Industrialize Hezgovina. Description. Very cool. Actually, you know what? I think we'll probably go with this one, too. Renewed Greater Croatia because we want those cores back. The concept of Greater Croatia has not yet perished from the minds of our citizens and those who live abroad. We would be fools not to embrace these old ideas of uniting the Croatian people under one flag. Our Croatian flag made, bore, made by and for the people who proclaim its prestigious heritage. Our beautiful homeland shall serve all Croats no matter where they may live. Good. Nice. Um, put the ship stuff. Ship, 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 ship. That's fine. Doesn't matter to me. On this one. There you go. Yeah, too. Cool. Go and repair if you can. Or, I guess, upgrade yourselves. Doesn't really matter. Just so we can get these cores done. Just because uh, they might attack someday. And getting cores on these areas would be very, very smart to do. And get more manpower because we're out of manpower. And, uh, and if we have no manpower, we can't do stuff for resistance. So. And we'll do Industrialist Hezgovino. I dealt you all has capitulated. Very good. Very good. Um, who's next here? Chief of the Army. Why do we have you? Ah, oh, yeah. Old school political guy. That's heart attack. That sucks. Carrier production cost plus 5%. Chief of the Air Force is pretty good, though. He's apolitical, which is actually pretty good. So, Schper, what are you doing? All glory? Alright. Alright, not bad. Schper economics. Gross Deutsche here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We're still training, too, which is kind of nice. Even though, well, maybe we should stop training for now since we don't have any other dockyards to do stuff with. So, renew Greater Croatia. Great! And Industrialist Herzegovina. Followed up with Power Our War Machine. The Croatian armed forces deserve the best and only the most high in equipment. From rifles to tanks and from ships to planes. My apologies. Once again, my apologies. Arr. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not ready for that. Whoa! Why did we get no warning about that? I might actually just reload the save for that then. Um, my apologies about that. Yeah, that's not fair. That's really unfair. Oh, uh, sure, guys. Come on in. Uh, let's see. But this. Uh, the Croatian armed forces deserve the best and only the most high in equipment. From rifles to tanks and from ships to planes. These things are, of course, necessary to defend our people from any threat. We should conduct military expansion unlike any in our admit admittedly brief history. To finally set our dominance list into stone. Croatia shall never be bullied into submission, for we shall always fight on. Oh, they're about to die here. That is not good. I need you to retreat over here very quickly. Yep, that's what we're kind of expecting. So, um, that's not good. Retreat, retreat. I need you guys to just force defense. Well, they're going to get invaded by the OFN now, so... Hopefully. Hold on. How much extra attack do they have? they probably are getting some... Because I have played Serbia before. They do get extra attack, I'm pretty sure. Because I know our guys are not great, but still. Yeah, Division Attack and Core Territory. This is, are this their Core Territory? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. It is, so they do get some extra attacks. So that's unfair. But it's actually... It's fine. It, it's, it's, I'd say somewhat fair, but still. Uh, organization. I'll go that one. That's fine. There you go. Don't worry about attacking. If they want to do damage to us, we've lost 18,000. That's a lot. Oh, they just got nuked! Oh, baby. Yes, yes, yes. You're not going to kill us off. Oh, oh, keep doing it. Die, you stupid Serbs. <laughs> Get nuked. Yeah, not gonna be when they're over, over a river. Well, for now, because we're gonna attack here next. And Destress has Gavina. Power of War Machine. You guys can definitely take this one out, though. We are the defenders here, and we are being victims of Serbian aggression. Oh, look at all the guys that are piling up here on the line. Back to this one. Integrate Sarajevo infrastructure. The infrastructure of Bosnia, while it does exist, is very poorly built and not yet connected to the rest of the Croatian net of roads and railways. In order for us to build up the rest of Bosnia, we'll need to not only connect, but also improve their infrastructure. Namely, there are the roads of Sarajevo. This is perhaps most important of all, for Sarajevo will be the most important point for our future operations. Why'd you give up attacking, Serbs? Come on. Come on. Why'd you give up? 
actually, how much should, actually, that's weird. Oh, actually, we do not have a deficit, so actually, I'm going to do this. And our allies are going to give us more uh, uh, equipment, so. Um, go with recon. I'll go, with, I'll go with logistics and go with, oh, we can't do it. Darn it. Well, I'll go with that one. That's fine. And now, it's, yep, that exactly. America, I know what America's going to do. Good, good, good. Get some Marty in there. Get some more signal companies. We're going to get rid of these Serbs. Lustazi didn't go enough with the Serbs. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes, yes. We've lost 22,000. We killed up 83,000. We, well, we killed 52,000, so. Not bad, not bad. I don't know why they're not focusing on this part of the line. I don't really quite understand it, but okay. Alright, industrialized Bosnian countryside. The mountains of the border region once spoke the Serbian tongue, the villages inhabited by the Serbian people. Since the war, things have changed. The Serbs have been forced out of the countryside, taking their positions with them. The already unindustrialized land has become a wasteland, with bandits, Czechnists, and partisans still run wild. We must revive these wastelands and begin to fill these lands with the clockwork of workers, factories, and smokestacks. Good. Good, good, good. Ten oh, more population. Uh, sure, why not? 20% more speed would be really nice, though. Good. I want all of you guys here to go do this, except for you. Attack on Belgrade. Now our guys are kind of filling up, filling up the line a little bit more. It's nice. Good, good, good. We've taken it. Nice, they even got overran, holy crap. Actually, since we're... Oh, I should not spend my PP earlier. Oh, I can't even do that anyways, that's fine. Alright then, so they're really stretched out, which is very good. So, can you guys actually... You probably can't win right there, it sucks. Um, They really are abandoning the line, though. Which does really kind of suck. But, hey, if you guys are doing that, you might as well help out, right? Cut all these guys off in the south. Completely cut them all off. Subsidized Croatian industry in Bosnia. Actually, are they still attacking us? No, they're not. Oh, they actually broke over the river. Look at that. Nice. I think we'll win this one. So, subsidize this group. To further encourage the integration of Bosnia into Croatia, we must ensure that their economy is the one dominated by Croatians. To ensure this, we shall offer Croatian industries, which already exist within Bosnia, thankfully, larger subsidies and benefits over Bosniak ones. With this offered, it is likely that we'll attract more Croatians to, our, to move into Bosnia, which we can further integrate it into our nation and cause more problems down the road. Yes. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Anti tank, nice. Give them some more time, and then they're all going to die, so. Good, good, good. Because they're still attacking, which is nice. Let the, guy, let the AI. Actually, I'm going to actually say this for once in a while. Let the AI do what AI do what it needs to do. Good. How much arty do we have? Not enough. Still, it's fine. Whatever. And good. Cancel Lundley's. What do you mean? Alright, followed up with what? Mine the steel of Zagreb. Perhaps nowhere is steel more important than in the Croatia, as it is well known, and it is a crown jewel of our industry and economic prosperity. Car curiously, the cities of Zagreb and the region of Croatia also share this reliance on steel. Therefore, in order. Oh, my apologies. Well, we got him. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all helping us out. Therefore, in order to boost our central region's economic prosperity, we must expand our steel mining operations in the region. It also surely improve the economy for the whole of the country, fortunately, but will be a great benefit for Croatia proper. The occupation of Albania. Albania has been occupied and is now up to us to determine its future. Um, this one, I, I want to keep it, but I think it'll be okay if we just release it. So I think that'll be okay to do. Um, ooh, they even got this little portion down here. Now the Social Democrats. Ooh, yeah, they did get Kosovo. Look at that. And now still the fate of Serbia. Our birds taking control of the territory of Serbia. What should we do? Now, I 
honestly, I really just want to annex and hold on to everything. But because of our current government, I don't think we'll do that. However, I actually try this off screen. If we release them, we can literally give them all the cores, which includes Bosnia and mo the vast majority of Croatia, which is completely unfair. So we literally have to maintain military occupation because I tried this and they already get everything here. They literally get all of our territory except for Senj. So, which is probably a bug in the game, but that's completely unfair. So it's, it's unfortunate, but it's got to be like this, unfortunately. And we don't have a lot of manpower. We don't have a lot of resistance. It is what it is. Actually, you know what? Great intelligence agency. Just because we can help lower resistance over here. So, and expand some roads. Highways across Croatia are required for, for Cro across Croatia are required for far more than simple industrial usage. By now, the the move or they move our military from point A to point B within a minute's notice, as well as for a countryman to travel with, across the land for the work. For all this, we need our road system to be completely flawless. While the recent improvements have undeniably been a major success, a new plan for the so-called Northeast Highway has been established. A fanatical highway, or fantastical highway, like none before it, which shall not only be topping on the cake for our improvements, but also be a symbol of Croatian efficiency. Not bad. And then we'll be done with the industrial side of the tree, and let's finish up the military side as well. Cool. And Lightning War Doctrine. The Germans did not conquer Europe through the reach through trench warfare or through the use of artillery. They did it through speed. The primary focus of the German's Blitzkrieg doctrine used in Poland, France, and the Low Countries in Yugoslavia as a rapid breakthrough of enemy forces, followed by encirclement. In order to fully realize the potential of this doctrine, we must give further autonomy to tank division commanders. These commanders, akin to Germany's great generals such as Rommel and Manstein, will lead Croatia to a victory through speed and our very own Blitzkrieg. Just call in the Toronto Corps and you'll be okay. Just call them in. Just call them in. Ooh. Um... Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, this one first. Let's get more civvies first. Four-year plan is gone, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. It is what it is. Let's do some anti-tank, because we can get some big old boys right there. Not bad. We're looking okay. 20 comp with, finally. Not bad. Field hospitals would be really good, though, but... <clears throat> I kind of doubt we need more divisions at this point. And... Thank you. Lightning Warfare. Good, good, good. And Marco... Uh, Marjania. Or however you pronounce that. Good. And expand tank research. The state of Croatian tanks is rather lackluster to say the least. Any potential enemies that we may face, such as the Hungarians, Italians, or Serbs, could easily overpower them, by some estimates without even using tanks of their own. We must take inspiration from the Germans with their Europe conquering designs such as the Panzer and Tiger. From this, we should create a truly fearsome tank that belongs to the Croatian nation. Very cool. Oh, it's on 13. That sucks. Region wide integration wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this stuff's just not worth it. Hurting your consumer goods? Well, some of the stuff is, but... Consumer goods stuff, man. This gives you exactly the same. What's the point of choosing either one? It's just the name difference. Uh, let's go... With, let's go with Lancia. Now let's go and do some... Uh, Mediterranean Navy expansion. Although Croatia officially has a navy, in truth, it's a little more than a few fishing boats with rifles mounted upon them. And we truly wish to be respected in the region, we are going to have to make serious improvements. Perhaps one day we shall even have a navy to rival that of the powers that share the Mediterranean with us, like Italy and Britain. Well, I don't know about that. That seems a bit far-fetched, but that's okay. Look at all the equipment we got, though. Look at all this. Really good. That's actually really, really nice. Tank-wise, what are we doing with this tank division? It's, oh my gosh, it's worse than I thought it was. I'll go and do that. Make sure you're just motorized. you are 10 combat with. Jesus. We only have 10 more army XP, so... Um, I guess get that one then. A little more soft attack is always nice. Cool. Followed up with... Improve our Dalmatian dockyards. As we hope to form a navy of any significance, we must look towards our coast, the lands of Dalmatia, with such cities as Split, Dubrovnik, and Markaska, has historically served as a land of seafarers. However, the dockyards of these are not made for fearsome navies, but for merchants who sail the Mediterranean in search of profits. We must rebuild our dockyards into one's fitting of our soon to be great navy. And from here on out, I'm just going to probably start reading more of these. So, mass produced destroyers. The destroyer is a ship that has served our naval interests well. The ship service is well enough and is cheap and easy to construct. With our modern dockyard technology and vested interest in greater naval dominance, large fleets of destroyers serve as well. Mass producing the destroyer helps secure the Mediterranean Sea, as a large numbers can help cover the span of the sea easily. Nice. And I'll give it a few more days and we'll do the, improve the Dalmatian dockyards. Get a whole one dockyard, but that's not too bad for a, a nation for like Croatia. Cool. And technology at this point probably doesn't even matter either, so we'll get better rifles. And we'll do some of this stuff. Basic anti-tank, normal anti-tank, which is very good. And begin the battleship program. While destroyers are a handy ship to make, <clears throat> 
They can't form our entire navy alone. Battleships have, have been a neglected idea. By ignoring them, we haven't been able to compete with other navies. Well, this program is a great idea. It's just a start and opens up a future for expansion and larger ships with more powerful armaments. Expanded naval doctrines. Now that we've officially made strides towards a bigger navy, we need competent officers and theories to put this navy to use. Our destroyers and battleships are good enough alone, so funding naval theory institutions and programs, civilian and military, will prove helpful. We need our best and brightest commander ships, and funding these programs will lead to a more efficient navy that allows us to cover more sea with less ships safely. Complete, compete with the Italian Navy. Uh, well, we'll read this one as soon as we get this one done and produced. Battleship, wow, minus 200%. That's not bad, actually. But compete against Italians. The Italians are not merely inhabiting our sea, but our water as well. Their actions are unacceptable. Acts of war against the Croatian people. But we cannot risk such things just yet, for they will surely result in our obliteration. The Regia Marina will not run us over, for the Croatian navy will be able to put a, a strong fight. One, just like David and Goliath. We say to those who mock us, saying that we can never hope to challenge a mighty Italian navy. The Adriatic is Croatian and will never let it go. Import German motorized equipment. Our industry is struggling to meet the army's new demands, something which, with which our army's staff has it rightfully panicked over, thankfully. Our diplomats will try to cut a deal of sorts with Germany. This deal would allow us to import their motorized equipment, like Opel, half trucks, and so on. If Germany accepts, we will hopefully be able to compete or complete the motorization of our armed forces. And there goes Trans Volga. Very cool. Uh, Oppo Blitz is not bad to have. And we'll do the mechanization of the army next. <clears throat> After much effort, we have mechanized the Croatian army. Infantry can be seen traveling in new German half tracks down the roads. Army trucks can be spotted unloading crates of ammo at supply depots. And massive army parades. New tank models are shown off to the adoring crowds and please generals. Our army is ready to not only defend Croatia, but to go on the offensive as well. As the Croatian Air Force. The Croatian Air Force has been a neglected branch and has had quite infrequent use throughout the past years. If we wish to put up any sort of resistance in the case of invasion, or even provide air support during an invasion of our own, we absolutely need a new modern air force, for starters. We must call up a few experts in the field to form a new plan for the future. Construct new airfields. The first step of any modernization of our air force will be to further construction of our air force's military airfields. This will ensure the ability to have a large number of planes able to take off at the right time, not only to protect the furthest border, border regions, but to take to the skies if we're unable to uh, if we're under attack by foreign foes, the airfield is, in all, all in all, an invaluable resource to any air force worth its weight, and we'll need more of them to have a chance in the sky. Bomber programs. <clears throat> For unfortunately, our Air Force is dominated by antiqu antiquated bombers, dating all the way back to the Balkan Wars and the First World War. With short ranges and no ability to drop reasonable loads, we need to start anew by funding a program or, uh, of our bombers. With this, we can hope to speed along funding for new bombers. Upgraded new bomber planes will allow us to increase our offensive capability from the air and make offenses easier for infantry, knowing that the skies will belong to them. Improve all fighters. Much like our bombers, our fighters are outdated and date back to the dark days before the Ustasha even existed, fortunately. They're not in as bad condition as their bombers, as well as being made after 1914. Not to say that they are much better. If we were to get in a fight with another nation, they would be shot down in seconds. Funding official fighter research programs will allow us to catch up quickly and get a new generation of fighters of fighter planes quickly up in the air. New air doctrines. If Croatia even hopes to stand a chance against our neighbors in Serbia and Hungary, not to mention Italy, Germany, or America, we must look into new doctrines. We know that the skies are just as important as the seas or lands. If we lose there, we lose our theoretical war. We must look for a single modern doctrine to put forwards, in the hopes that we will be able to put up a fight against our enemies, however strong they might just be. Um, this doesn't really matter. Let's go push for artillery, which I should, probably should have done earlier. Army reserve training is nice, and we'll grab some of this. Large scale exercises. And research for the age of jets. So far, all of our efforts to catch up with the world has been relatively successful. Now, with much of that out of the way and dealt with, the opportunity to prepare for the future is before us. We'll see that what von Braun is playing in Germany and what the Americans are doing. While we may have called it a pipe dream, we dream of a day where Croatian jets fly through the skies, the most advanced in the world. And now we're just going to use console commands, anyways. Cool. Cool. And I believe that is it for Croatia. Even though I think. I'll have one more episode just to see what the paternal autocratic side is more like with this side, even though that video is going to be pretty darn short. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will finish out Croatia for real. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.